Hello everyone and welcome to a video about how to unlock Neglect, build Neglect and just a general overview of him. Unlocking Neglect can take about an hour of playtime if you're quick enough. Simply go to Act 1 and look for the Stargazer on the bottom row as you can see here. If the Stargazer is not there you'll need to restart your run. Once at the Stargazer select Ask or Pay depending on how much you want to spend to get a divination. It doesn't matter which one of those two you select and then progress onwards. Once you defeat the boss at the end of Act 1, select Continue to Red Portal. Once in the Red World, navigate to the campsite and then you have to choose one of your heroes to carry this item. Doesn't matter which one carries it, but they cannot replace this item for the rest of the run. After this, carry on as normal until Act 4. Within Act 4, navigate to the airship located here and simply hand in the package and you will get access to a special shop and you will have unlocked Neglect. Note that you do not have to finish your run, you can simply go to the next combat and resign and you will have unlocked Neglect. For perks on Neglect, I like to go for a 30 0 3, 17. The 30 is to maximize the golden shards, as well as go for additional sight charges and additional energy on turn two. There's also a little bit of a buffer in there because he can give some buffers. Nothing in the physical tab. The elemental tab, I like to go for starting with one extra inspire so you can burn for your deck a bit faster. And on the mythical tab, I like to go for insane reducing the amount of health on the enemy and regeneration increasing the amount of healing done. I'll put a link below for our, my export text if you want to import it. But overall, a very standard safe build for Neglect, maximizing insane charges, sight charges, and mind damage. Neglect's starting deck includes two scries, a banish, which is used to remove stuff from people's decks, expected prophecies, four mind blasts, two curative therapies, three mental shakes and a mind vision. He primarily focuses on doing mind damage as well as applying stacks of insane and sight. I like to add two healing reins to his deck because they burn and they're really good for the idea and role of being a support healer. Neglect because of his passive healing for 20% of the cumulative stacks of sight and insane across the entire board means that you can do a quite a bit of healing over 10 to 15 per turn just by maximizing your damage output. So that's why I like to add two healing reigns. Other cards I like to add are clairvoyance um, and also some foresights as well because they allow you to add some stacks. I like to upgrade them uh, but first I'm going to trim down this deck. I don't particularly like playing with scries or expected prophecies. So I like to take them out and I like to thin down the amount of mental strikes as well. When I'm upgrading, I upgrade all my mind blasts to burn so that I can thin my deck out. I will also upgrade clairvoyance to be one cost just so I can keep spamming it out. And my mental shake I reduce to one cost. I also upgrade my foresights to do a tiny bit of damage as well. And there it is, a rather cheap deck for Neglect. You can maybe add a Dispel in there as well, or whatever you want, just to improve his power. When you're in the shop, I like to look for anything that increases your Insane stacks or Sight stacks. And as you can see, there's a perfect item. And for pets, ideally you want an Oculi, but if you don't have Oculi, you can go for Betty instead, who does not as well, but at least applies some Insane stacks. When playing Neglect, if you navigate to the Stargazer on Act 1, you will get a free divination. Right now I'm just going to start combat and just show you how Neglect's passive works and how he plays. The key thing about playing Neglect as a support role is that he will heal everyone on your team based on the 20% of the total number of sight stacks and insane stacks in the entire game. And this is just how Banish works. You can banish two cards, but you simply play your cards, deal loads of damage, and as you'll see, 
Magnus's will be healed for quite a bit here, even though I've played no healing spells. So this is what happens if you navigate to the Stargazer. In Act 1, you can select the Neglect icon at the bottom and you will get a free divination. It's really helpful if you're in the later Madness difficulties and you just want some more cards. Neglect is a fun hero to play. He's very similar in playstyle to someone like Maluka, but you really don't have to build that much healing on him for him to be a really effective off healer for a team. I like to include him in team comps with another healer to ensure that everyone on the team can still stay at full health, but it means that both healers can do some damage. So maybe a company with someone like Reginald to build holy and bless damage, or someone like Maluka who also is doing a little bit of healing at all times. He's very fun to play and he becomes really useful the later madnesses where you need that just a little bit more healing to make sure your team can stay alive. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Across the Obelisk guides. Please feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you.